Melusine is a mythical water fairy. Hidden inside her unfathomable rock maze 300 meters up, she reigns over these cascades. The water in this spring filtered down from the Solnau Plateau, then flowed into the underground galleries of the Berger Chasm before reappearing here on the surface. The mouth of the Berger Chasm lies above the Sassenage cisterns. The chasm drops 1192 meters below ground level. One of the deepest cavities in the world, it's a major speleological attraction. The exploration of caves began in Europe, and the first written record of an underground cavity being explored was found in the famous Postoinska Yama in Slovenia. The inscription was carved more than a kilometer from the entrance in the year 1213. More recently, speleological federations in Slovenia, Austria, and France played an important role in exploring these dark underground realms. Miners, as early as the 16th century, were the first to explore the caves of England. They had to have a lot of courage and tenacity, because English caves are often narrow, difficult and dangerous. At that time, the material and techniques for underground exploration were rudimentary. Early spelunkers made slow progress and faced real dangers. A far cry from today's modern cavers. Interest in these dark passageways only grew slowly and often indirectly. In the 18th century, the Germans adventured into these underground realms simply to pursue their archaeological research. Meanwhile, however, systematic exploration of the Old World's caves had begun. Today, the major European speleological federations are a century old. Thousands of kilometers of galleries have been explored, and numerous caves are open to the public. This subterranean environment is unique. Nothing on the Earth's surface can compare with it. Naturally, caves aroused the public's interest and led to the development of tourism in these underground realms. Promising mystery and hidden wonders, many caves were outfitted for tourists long ago. Equipment was sometimes complex, sometimes rudimentary. This underground world was opened to the European public as early as a hundred years ago. The Dobsina Cavern in eastern Slovakia has been open to tourists since 1871. At an altitude of 970 meters on the slopes of a limestone mountain in the Slovakian paradise, Dobsina was the first cave in the world to be electrified. As early as 1887, visitors could view the stunning ice formations lining the interior of the cave, thanks to artificial lighting. The ice is 25 meters thick in some places. Its volume is estimated at 150,000 cubic meters. But this figure varies because the ice mass changes every year. The cave is almost 1.5 kilometers long, but only 475 meters of it are open to the public. As in all caves that have been opened around the world, each room, each oddity has been named. This is the passage over hell. This is the chapel. This is the ice corridor. The Great Hall measures 120 meters in length and is 60 meters wide. The ceiling is 11 meters high. 